Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we continue our road trip in the great northern region in Argentina, crossing over from the province of Jujuy. We're now going to be exploring the province of Salta along with the gems here. I'm gonna get out of the car and it's gonna be loud because of the wind. So please excuse me, but I also hope you can catch what I'm saying. But there's a reason why it's so windy where I'm showing you too. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can because the wind up here is But we are up in <laughs> I'm shouting as well. We're up in the highest point of I think if this is correct, I've never been this high in a very long time. This is almost as high as Kilimanjaro. This is 4,895 meters above sea level. It is crazy. We are on our way driving to Kachi, which is, we're starting our Salta trip. So Salta is a region in northern Argentina, and we're exploring it, but we have to go through this gravel road to get there obviously incredible views it is crazy let me go back to the car but this is like as we're driving up this gravel road above all these mountains i can't believe we're almost at 5,000 meters above Okay, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this, but it looks like there's an icy road up ahead. Ahead. This is not a 4x4, so we can't just drive through crazy ass roads. Like, it's already a gravel road up in this mountain. Like, this is a very precarious roadside. And I don't know how we're gonna cross this. Like, the ice goes. It continues down there and it's quite a quite a curvy bend we're not really sure if we're going to continue this drive it's just sucks because it's the only way well one of our ways to get to our destination and it was already like a two hour drive to get to this point and then we're gonna have to backtrack through this mountain passage and then have another three hour drive but you i don't know if you can see him he's he's there he's testing out this whole icy passage and as before, as you can see, like it's like the the road is quite narrow, and we were talking about and you didn't feel seventy percent confident about going down. But if someone says seventy percent compared to like your like your life, that's kind of scary. And I want to stay calm because I don't want to scare you, Rune. And he's the driver, so he knows best, I think. But I just feel like the ice part is quite long. I think going all the way back is just... <sighs> travel, you know? <laughs> so, traveling is fun. Traveling is also... This. <laughs> mm. So, Yurun is driving, as you can see, and I'm going to walk because I think my anxiety is too much for him. And it's, oh my god.
understand. Like, look, like this is the drop off. Oh my god. Oh my god. We made it. Oh my god. Okay, thank god. Like, my heart just fell across this. Ah, it's so slippery. My heart was like, my body was trembling. Which is probably why he was to walk this far to get out of the car. But also for like safety reasons, which is really sweet. Just in case something happens, then there's one of us still. Look at that. Like it's so icy. It was so scary. Oh my god. I can't believe he drove that. Not even kidding, there's no other cars on this road. Like, given it's not that popular of a road to get to Kachi, where we're gonna go, but like, I mean, it's a very scenic mountain view, but it's just so crazy. Okay, this is, this is everything that he drove. It is crazy. So he is kicking some of the sands down so that you can see like partially part of his tire will have some of the grip here. Goodness. So happy we made it out alive. Like this would have been like, can you see a drop? No, not today. Not in Argentina. Not ever. No. Yay! <laughs> so many goats to see, so damn positive. What? Look at it. Oh my god. They say that it's not the destination that's the most important, but it's the journey to get to the destination. And with this road and this whole passage that definitely lived up to it because at the beginning of the day when we first started I was like okay yeah like it's a three hour drive to the next the destination that we're going to in Salta Kachi but it has been so much more than that it's just been such a phenomenal views all around and constantly changing from switchback zigzaggy roads in the mountain way to icy roads to all these water crossings that we have to do as well and then see the goats and the llamas all around it has been such a beautiful road and it's definitely worth it journeying through Salta on this road and also what you really told me is that this road apparently so even though this is like ungraveled part probably eventually will hit like a gravel part because it is the longest road in Argentina. So this road connects all the way from the north, where we are, um, even further from Jujuy, down through Salta, all the way down to Patagonia, which is crazy. Because if you see Argentina on a map, it is a long, gigantic country. So this is like the ultimate Argentina road, and to just experience a slice of it at such a great, beautiful slice of it, has been so fantastic and I'm pretty sure we still have like an hour left to go to go through our destination. Also we keep passing by little settlements and look at this one. This is the cemetery that we see here and there. They're very small but they're always built on like the side of the mountainside. So there's always like really interesting things just to see every single turn and corner on this road.
we've made it to one of the most beautiful towns in Argentina. This is called Cachi, where we are. Quite catchy for a name. <laughs> but Cachi is a very small town. It used to be in the 18th century, where the one of the powerful colonial towns in Argentina. And then today you can see how well preserved the town is. It's like a whitewash town with like different buildings and then nestled in the mountains here. So you can see the mountains in the background, depending on where you are in Cachi. And we're just gonna walk around, stretch out our legs from that journey <laughs> and explore what's here. This is what I love about doing a road trip. You have such flexibility in where you want to go and for how long. A place like Kachi and the roads we drove on today just wouldn't have been possible without having our own car. That's the spirit of a road trip after all. And this northern region of Argentina is perfect. It's actually a way smaller town than I thought. I mean, I knew it was going to be like a small, cute colonial town, but like most towns in Latin America, it's just the main square is here and then like the life, the central vibrancy of the town surrounds the main square. And then you have like little side streets and that's basically sums up catchy. It's a nice little pit stop in Salta. Up getting some tiramisu ice cream and some lemon ice cream or gelato, more like it. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's a really nice way to just enjoy the day and catch it. National Park La Cardones is our first national park we're exploring in Argentina. Los Cardones is a sweeping landscape of ravines, sierras, and valleys covering 650 square kilometers at varying altitudes between 2,500 and 5,226 meters. This national park protects prehistoric patrimony. While we can't see it, this land contains dinosaur tracks and fossils. The sun-kissed and arid region contrasts with the majority of the rest of Argentina, making it a truly unique experience in the country. Another cool thing is that the most of this park has a grid climate that is characterized by a large thermal amplitude, which basically means there's a large difference between day and night temperatures. I wonder what this place would look like during like say rainy season or when there's like rain because all of this stretch is supposed to be water but it's so dried out right now I mean you can hear a little bit of the stream but it's nothing compared to what this could be I guess but I really love the how red the rocks here are and these cute <laughs> We arrived to Cafayeta and Cafayeta is this town in Salta region area but it's dinner time now so we're gonna just end the night before we explore Cafayeta tomorrow morning at this dinner, this restaurant place called Como in Casa which is such a cool, just like a very wholesome concept by the chef here so the chef here comes to every single table individually by himself and like present to you what he's going to cook tonight what are the options that he can choose and then we chose so he specializes in um pasta and meats as well meats because argentina pasta because the heritage here and he makes them he can mix the pasta during the day for fresh pasta and then at night he cooks it up and serves them. And so we ordered three different 
pasta dishes that I'm so excited to try out. They are such hearty, good portions and just such great flavors too. Mm. I can eat this every night, every day, lunch, dinner. <laughs> it's so good. It's morning time in Cafayeta and I just want to share with you this beautiful city as the sun rises and as you can see Cafayeta is surrounded by this gorgeous mountain range and since it's autumn we have such wonderful orange and gold bursts of colors everywhere. This is the center of Cafayeta. So we're at the Plaza de Cafayeta and here you can see the main church, the main cathedral of the town square, of the town actually. And then all around the square is where there's like different boutiques, the artisanal market, as well as restaurants, different shops that you can get. It's really, really quaint here actually. It's a nice, slower down, chill pace city town of Cafayeta than say, definitely say Buenos Aires. We're just walking and across from the Y Museum is this funky building. Look how cool this is with the llama. It's like a llama entrance. <laughs> it's so cool. And then there's like this type of bird. Or maybe it's another llama. It's such a cool building. Even like the details of the, the tail of the llama too. When I tell people I like architecture, and this is what I meant. <laughs> Look at all those vineyards. That's just for wine. This is so cool. We're driving through one of the oldest bodegas in Cafayeta. This is so gorgeous. So Cafayeta is a lesser known wine region than say Mendoza, which is internationally renowned uh, in Argentina and of course everywhere else. But the thing is, is that in recent years, Cafayeta has become more and more popular because we're actually around 2,000, just over 2,000 meters uh, in altitude. And so the wine that they produce in Cafayeta are special high altitude wine. And that makes it definitely unique compared to other wine regions around the world. Okay, actually not 2,000, but precisely 1,700 meters, which is really high still for producing wine. It is so beautiful here at Finca Cora, just exploring this grand estate. All of this is for wine? I mean, the architecture here, this whole building, like, oh, this is huge urns, jugs for wine, and then these vintage old cars as well. Wow. I'm going 
down this hallway. I feel like I'm in a medieval castle. Like this, these stone arches and these huge barrels just for wine. This is so crazy. And look at this gigantic chandelier. Oh my god. And he's surrounded by stone walls. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This cool bottle. This barrel. All these barrels. Wow. I I'm shook. <laughs> Just such vintage machineries around. This, I guess this is like a cashier back in the ye old days. We get a private tour for the both of us. <laughs> Práctico. Pre, muy práctica, sí. Sí. Bien, pueden levantar la Gracias. copita. Gracias. Sí. Eh, un blanco o un torrontés reserva cosecha 2017. Y es seco, seco sí, en boca. Seco. Seco. Sí. Así es, así es. Bueno, siempre beberlo fresquito. Cabernet. Cabernet. Copa. Just being able to walk around this such grand estate in Cafayeta and then this region in Salta of Argentina is just so cool. Especially the season right now, it's autumn. You can hear the crinkling of the leaves. Look at the vineyards. This seems to go and go and go and it's such a huge estate and vineyard here. Ah, it's, I'm just so happy. Like this is like the perfect type of morning that is just nice to like spend, especially after just having such a big grand adventure around Salta. This is like perfect to relax here. Y'all know I don't really drink, so for all the wine tasting, I just took a little little sips because I still want to explore the winery. You don't usually drink my portions in these scenarios, but since he's driving, he couldn't. But that's okay. It was still a fantastic winery tour and tasting. Salta is a huge province, so in the next vlog, we're going to explore more of it, including another unreal national park. For now, you know the drill. Leave me a comment below, give this video a like, and hit subscribe to join the Logie Bear fam because we have more Argentinian adventures to go on.